Hi, in this video, you'll see me test this Logitech K600 TV keyboard on my MacBook Pro, iPad, and Windows PC. I mainly want to demonstrate in this video how to pair or set up and switch between these devices or among these devices. It's flawless. I will also test the touchpad and some functionalities, but not all. It's also designed for selected smart TV. Unfortunately, my TV isn't smart enough. The full unboxing footage can be seen at the end of this video. You can also use timestamps to skip to it. But I hope you watched from the beginning to the end. Let's begin. Let's take a look. First pairing with my MacBook Pro by pressing number 3. And it picks up right away. Select connect and just type in the passcode followed by the return key. Continue and follow the key presses. Select the keyboard type and done. And you can see under my devices it's connected. Now test typing on the Notes app. You can also hear the typing sound. The typing feels pretty good and not cheapy. The touchpad works just fine for me. Some people think it's too small of an area. Again, for me, it's just fine. I'll speed up the tracking speed a little bit later. It will never match the Apple Magic Trackpad, obviously. Tap to select also works. However, the two finger scrolling directions are the opposite of the Magic Trackpad, which uses content tracks fingers. But that can be changed through the Logitech Options app, which I will show you later. The initial tracking speed with this touchpad is just right on this MacBook. But let's test its accuracy by doodling in a photo app. You could use the left corner button here as a left mouse click. Seems to be pretty good. Pretty smooth comparing to some other keyboards I've used. Though the touchpad is clickable, but it's not necessary as you can see. I just tap instead. You could also see why the area of this touchpad is enough for me at least. Navigating just fine, doing anything I need. Here you could see I cannot speed up the tracking speed through the Mac OS settings. I'll have to use their Logitech Options app later in the video. Same speed, fast or slow. But here, watch with the Magic Trackpad. Slow is slow. Fast is fast. Now pairing it with a Windows PC. To pair it, go to Settings, Bluetooth and Devices, Add Device. Select Bluetooth and press and hold number 2. You could use number 2 or 3 for Bluetooth. 1 for RF dongle connection. I'll test that later. Since I have three for my MacBook just now, I'll use two. Similarly, head in the pen and press enter. And your device is ready to go. And as you can see, the keyboard works, the touchpad works, but the tracking speed is just a little slower than the MacBook. And again, the two finger scrolling is reversed compared to the Magic Trackpad. But I'll change that to my liking. First, changing the keyboard touchpad speed can be done in the mouse settings on this Windows PC. At 20, it's a little too fast. At 5, should be fine. 
it was a uh, two initially. Now here, looking back at my MacBook, you, you can see it's not working until I press 3 as I said it earlier. And there you go, just like that. Switching is easy. I'll be adding an iPad, then I'll switch between all three to demonstrate further. Before that, let me switch back to my Windows PC. Boom, just like that. You see how easy. This impresses me quite a bit. Now with my next device, an M1 iPad Pro. I'm overriding number 3 slot for this iPad. But later, I will use the RF dongle receiver option, which is preset for number 1 slot. Then I will be able to demonstrate switching between all three devices. Here you see it's easy pairing. It picks up the keyboard right away. Again, similarly, hit in the code for every initial pairing. Just imagine someone else in a coffee shop near you without heading in any code could use your keyboard for that reason. iPad test typing works well. No lag, no delay. Again, my Windows PC is still on. I could switch back to that easily just by pressing number 2. It is so convenient. You can also see that the iPad stops and the PC is a go. Trying notepad typing on this Windows PC. And again, no lag, no delay. Maybe I should relearn typing. I, um, I learned typing when I was in a 11th grade. Believe it or not, I was the second fastest in the class. And each of us was using a mechanical typewriter. Now, switching back to my iPad. Oh, I forgot to demo the cursor on my iPad. Everything works seamlessly. And back again to the Windows PC. Take a look. And now for the RF dongle receiver test. I always use a magnetic adapter system where I can for easy connecting. Since this is the first RF method connection and the MacBook considers it to be different than the Bluetooth connection, you'll have to allow the device and go through again identifying the keyboard. You, as you could already tell, it works through identifying it. Using the RF receiver is a good way when you're further away from your device. For example, when you're further away from your smart TV. More typing tests. Now you see here I have been on number one slot for this RF dongle connection test. So no go and nothing is happening on the iPad. And that is the way it should be. When a keyboard does not have this switching capability, you would have to reconnect by unpairing and repairing. Like when you're switching back to a device, you would have to unpair and repair it, the keyboard to that device. Such a big hassle. So switching to my iPad, Pressing 3 for my iPad. You could see it works immediately. Just want to say thanks for still tuning in. 
I know it's a long video. And one last switch to the PC by pressing number two. And just like that again, so easy switching. That's not a sound effect, that's my neighbor. From a MacBook to an iPad and now on a PC. Windows. There is an app that you could download called Logitech Options from Logitech.com where you can customize or enhance your keyboard and touchpad. It's pretty good. It automatically detects what you have connected. But I only use it to change the touchpad scrolling directions to content track fingers. So it matches the configuration. And with my experience I've had using the Apple Magic Trackpad that I have been using for years. But you could customize or change a lot of other things on this keyboard. You could see here right now the keyboard is on traditional scrolling. If you scrub with two fingers up, it scrolls up. If you scrub with two fingers down, it scrolls down. I prefer content track finger scrolling directions. Scrub up, it goes down. Scrub down, it goes up. You can see the animation. The remaining of this video is the jump cut unboxing footage without any voiceover. Anyway, I hope you find this video interesting. I hope you come back. And thank you for watching. I do hope you stick around to the end.